Welcome to Course Empire, we're gonna go over the interface. So let's go ahead and sign in and get started. When the app first opens, it opens to your dashboard, you'll see all of the data here in this main panel. We've got total sales, students, visits and gross revenue. Here we've got sales and views data. Next is the video drive, it's just like any other file explorer you may be used to. So you'll see that folders on the left and the selected contents here in the middle. So if I select a folder, the contents in the middle here will change accordingly. I can, of course, jump into different subfolders and find various content. You have a variety of actions that you can take on any of the content. So you've got download and delete. You can also add new subfolder or upload your video file. The next tab is an interactive funnel video. And this is a really neat feature where you can take your viewers on a choose your own adventure video tour their video content. So we have got some action here, edit funnel, preview, share, embed code, and delete. Let's click on this one. And you'll get a better idea of what this is all about. So here we already have a funnel of three videos, we can also add more by easily dragging videos to this area. Now let's go ahead and edit this video to add some interactions. You can change the appearance colors of the player. So here's a standard one, but you can go here, and you can change the look of the video player itself. There's all kinds of different features that you can control. By making adjustments. In this video player settings section. As you can see, you have a whole bunch of control over it. Next settings is the video control, here appears at the top, you can turn it to autoplay. So the video will automatically start playing. When the person lands on that page. Likewise you can control what happens at the end of the video. So when the video ends, is it just going to pause on that last frame? Is it going to reset to your thumbnail isn't going to loop over and over, or will it take them to a brand new website? If so, you can specify what that website URL is. So let's take a look at thumbnail. Thumbnail is the image that displays when the video is not playing. So you can accept the default, or you can use a frame from the video, and you just scroll through the video until you find a frame that you like for your thumbnail. And you just control it by using the little slider to define when that video starts. Optionally, you can use a custom image, simply upload your image that you want it to be. Or choose from stock images with millions of pictures to choose from. You can add chapters to longer videos, so viewers can immediately jump to the content they most want to watch. This features allow them to play video lessons where they last left off, so they can quickly resume learning. Chapters means, break up your video into sections. These chapters can help viewers by giving more info and context by allowing them to re-watch different parts of the video. You have various interactions such as clicks to action buttons with clickable links so you can direct traffic to your website simply by clicking a button in the video. There's also annotation text, images, logo, opt-in forms, timer, HTML code, map, YouTube video, and social share button. And all of this interaction are controlled right here. It is created and edited and managed right here. You can change anything you want. So let's take a look here you can set the action for the button. What happened when I click on the button you can choose to do nothing or jump to another video, download file or open URL, you can also change text color, background color, text style, border style, and animations. A big part of finding success with email marketing is creating an effective opt-in form that visitors are drawn to and that compels them to subscribe. Course Empire lets you to create amazing opt-in form easily and to connect them to your favorite autoresponder, you can choose from a list of 10 best autoresponders. Now let's go back to the funnel creator. 
Let's take a look. So we have 5 video, and we are going to branch theme using the superposer of Video Funnel Creator. The branching scenario is a flexible content type that enables authors to present a variety of rich interactive content and choices to learners. Learners make choices that determine the content they will see. So let's go ahead next and edit this video. I'll go ahead and fast forward until it presents us with the option. So this is my options. I have buttons choice so what am I interested in, I'm interested in health and fitness, and it takes me to separate video about health and fitness. So this section here represents the start video, and these are the buttons that fitness took me to this video. So this is very, very powerful. You can help your viewers to choose their own adventure in the web video and play video connection. Click on the plus sign, and then just draw the connection. Next up, you've got the courses, and this is a very powerful feature where you can create courses to sell or to present to various. You'll notice that we have a couple here already created in this account. Let's go ahead and edit this one. Here as you can see, there's an introduction in a series of introductory videos, then another section, and some more lessons. This is a very extensive course. And it's all controlled right here, it is created and edited and managed right here. Now let's go back and create new empty course. Over here, create new course. Let's give it a name and description. Click create course. So here we are in the main course interface. You're going to want to start over here by clicking course. We're going to create several sections here. We're going to create two sections. First one is introduction and then finding a product section. So I'll do that real quick. That's my first section. Second one. You can add as many sections as you need. Now let's add some lessons to our course. Go over here to the first one where the introduction, and we're going to go ahead and click Add Lesson. Now, I want to give it a name. And then I want to select the video. So, I already have it stored in the video drive. So you'll notice how these are nicely organized, the videos are stored in the video drive, and they're individual folders one folder for each module. So, when I'm creating my courses, super easy to find the right ones here. So keep this in mind when you're uploading videos how you might want to organize them in your video drive. So now that we have some of the course laid out, let's go ahead and edit our lesson video and add interactions. Start by clicking player settings and making any adjustments that you want to the player so its appearance, what controls you want showing its thumbnail. Next we are going to customize our pages. We have here sales page, order page, thank you page, about us page, and terms and condition page. Let's go ahead and change the sales page. As you see here, you can change everything in this template, texts, colors, images, video, backgrounds. You can change the font size, also you can add images or videos. Next we have got orders, manage students. Branding settings here you can add your logo and icon. And then finally, here we have. And this is a great feature where you can look and see the engagement that you're getting on the videos that you have posted here. So, how are people engaging with it? How many plays? What's the play rate? How many hours a week plays us? And then you can even go further to see it in greater detail to traffic time. Heat maps by geography devices like browsers.